can say to her, like, listen, I'd like to pursue this, but I don't want to have it, you know, be a, a talk. Uh, I don't want our, us, us being a thing or us hooking up being a thing around the office. Let's keep it strictly confidential for my sake and yours. And if things ever go sour, no hard feelings on either side. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do that. What's up guys, John Anthony here from John Anthony Lifestyle. Best dating channel on the planet by far. Straightforward, practical, no bullshit advice. If you're not yet a subscriber, please subscribe below and press the notification bell. Okay. Today's video is going to be on how to game girls at work. This was another special request. Guys want to know how do they pick up girls at work? How do they not violate any of the rules and, and not attract attention and all this stuff? So we're gonna go over those considerations and a specific strategy or system for how to do it in the workplace, okay? But if you have interest in learning my entire system from A to Z, okay, I have an eight-week mentorship program. It spans two full months to cover online game, night game, and day game, how to do your texting, how to do your online game messaging on Tinder and Bumble and Hinge how to run your dates, how to close your dates, and how to keep the girls around that you wanna keep around. Okay, a lot of the guys are going on five to 10 dates a week, starting by week two of the program. And if you would like to be a part of that, you can jump on a free 30 minute call with the link in the description. A lot of the guys are closing one to two new girls per week and putting about one new rotation girl on per week as well. Okay, so do not delay, the spots are limited. Jump on that free 30 minute call with the link in the description. And let's jump into the video. So, you are at work, you see a pretty girl, Okay, I used to work in the corporate world. I worked at Lockheed Martin on missile defense for five years. I worked for IBM. I led a team of like 30 different programmers uh, for a year and a half. I worked for Hewlett Packard and Sony PlayStation. And I banged a bunch of hot girls. I mean, there was a limited hot girls. Usually they were like in the marketing departments or you know, not in the tech areas typically. Um, but there's a very specific way to do it, to do this gaming at work thing, okay? Number one, you don't want to attract a lot of attention. You don't want to be known as that guy that's just shamelessly hitting on everyone, okay? So number one is you want to kind of keep a low profile and not attract attention, okay? So what this means is, say you, you see a girl that you like. Typically, I will invite her out for like a business lunch, okay? Meaning like during work hours, usually just me and her, or sometimes with other coworkers, but usually just me and her, and I'll make it very ambiguous, right? Like just make some small talk to her and suggest that we go grab lunch, okay? Now, when I'm out on this lunch date, it's ambiguous if this is just like two friends at work hanging out or if it's, you know, if I'm actually interested in the girl. She's probably gonna assume I'm interested on some level. You know, so if, she, if she's like weary, if, it, if you're getting the vibe when you're, when you're flirting with her, when you invite her, that she's like weary, like, oh, is this like a thing where you like me? you could invite a couple other people out, okay? But then on this business lunch, you're gonna just put out some feelers. You'll throw some light flirtation and you know, just see how she responds, okay? If, if she's somewhat receptive or it's more on the positive side, then you can kind of you know, push a little, a little more, put out some more flirtatious remarks and just kind of like test the waters. But it's important to note you're not gonna, the whole process is gonna be like a lot more slow and extended. It's not gonna be like any kind of strong moves. You're not gonna be making over the top sexual remarks. You're not gonna be implementing physicality out of the gate. Because why? If you get physical with her or you make some big remark and, and it goes negative, now all of a sudden, number one, your chances are ruined. But number two, you're gonna, that's probably gonna get around to some other people. And if you do this multiple times, you're gonna to start to develop a rep pretty quickly, reputation. So I like to just invite them out on a, like an ambiguous you know, lunch that could just be two coworkers hanging out. And then it's not, you're not gonna really treat it too much like a date. You're not gonna run it like textbook like a date. You're not gonna to try to pull home. Obviously, it'll be during working hours. And you're just gonna put out some life feelers, get to know her a little more. But don't keep it super pure, pure platonic, but you're gonna like put out some little life feelers and see how she responds, okay? Now, if it goes well, I'll typically like invite them for that kind of scenario again. Let's say you went out with coworkers the first time. I might invite her just one-on-one -on -one the second time. And I'm gonna flirt a little bit more, okay? And after a couple of times, that's where you can you know, ask for her number and tell her that you guys should hang out sometime outside of work, 
And then that's where you can invite her on like a formal date, either for like coffee or for drinks or whatever. And now when you guys are hanging out outside of work, that's going to classify more in her mind as like a real date. Okay, now she's gonna be considering you as like a work prospect for dating, okay? And it's cool, like I, I banged some girls at work that were pretty hot and then it's, it makes work a lot more fun. You actually look forward to going into the office. It's like your little secret. I recommend telling her to keep it strictly confidential. Um, you know, not to go tell her friends at work because then they're gonna tell people and they're gonna tell people and word will get around. You know, it can make you look bad so she gets back to your boss and they, and they don't want things disrupting workplace, you know, activities and stuff to, to get the work done. So I would tell the girls, like, let's keep it completely confidential. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell even your closest friends. And the same with me, okay? But it'd be cool. We would just text each other, like, your place in 10 or something like that. You go and rail the girl out and then you, you pop back to work and it's like your little secret and you're like looking at each other from across the office and this and that. And you actually like look forward to like having that little break. And, it, and it's awesome, right? And it can just keep going like that. Um, if, it, if, you ever if things ever sour or one of you loses interest, you can just part on, on good terms. You can say, like, hey, look, this isn't working out anymore uh, or for whatever reason but I don't want this to change like how we interact in the workplace. I don't wanna have hard feelings. I don't wanna have you go talk bad about me to other people. I'm not gonna say anything bad about you to other people. So you just make it like a clean cut off thing, right? And that's that, right? And you don't, you don't wanna become like the talk of the office. Like I, I remember in the office place, there was different affairs going on and everyone would know about it. Cause as soon as one person, as soon as they would tell like one person, that person would tell other people and it would spread all around. You also don't want to make it very obvious at work. Like at work, you could just act like coworkers. Okay. Like these, these two people that were having an affair, they would like openly flirt in the office or he would like drop her off in the mornings and, and people would see her getting out of his car, even though he had a wife and shit like that. So you don't want to like, you want to, as I said, keep a low profile. Okay. Um, and as a, you know, in order to like get your foot in the door to touch on this, you're gonna have to like cold approach her, right? Like if, if you guys aren't part of the same project, you've never met this girl, et cetera, um, you know, you're gonna have to like stop her with some excuse, okay? You're not gonna say something like, hey, I thought you were adorable, I just had to speak to you, like the typical stupid PUA openers. Okay, you shouldn't say that stuff anyways, even if you, you see a girl in public that you wanna talk to outside of work. Okay, but you're gonna stop her and maybe say something like, oh, hey, what's up, I haven't seen you around, like, I work in this department, what, you know, what kind of stuff do you work on? Oh, I do this and this. Oh, that's cool. Um, you know, how long have you been working here? Just some like stupid bullshit chit chat. And then say, oh yeah, you seem cool. You could even make, I used to say like, oh yeah, there aren't many young people. Cause I was like one of the youngest, I was working on like the nuclear biological chemical missile defense. And I was, I started that job at like 23. I, I finished my second master's. I did two bachelors by 21. And then I had my second master's at age 22 and third master's at age 23. I did all that stuff. The master's and half the time and the bachelor's I finished, a year, the double bachelor's I finished a year early. Cause I was a 23 year old with a double, uh, double master's, double bachelor's. And I would stop like the younger girls. Say, oh yeah, like a lot of the people here are married to families and stuff. It's like, you know, I'm just looking to meet more people my age that work here and this and that, right? But again, the, the number one overarching principle is you don't want to make a rep. You don't want to build a scene and you don't, you know, you don't want to make a scene and you don't want to make it this over the top thing that's going to draw attention. Okay. You're not going to like, be like stopping a girl in the, in the hall and being physical. You're, you're beautiful, right? Any of that kind of stuff. So it's going to be an indirect opening. It's going to be like low kind of energy, low pressure. Um, you're not going to be like making over the top sexual jokes. You're not going to be physical. So, so those are the main adjustments, open and direct, make the whole process drawn out a bit slower, get her out in an ambiguous kind of work lunch, and then put out some, some test feelers, see how receptive she is. Let's say that you're out on the work lunch and she's like, blah, blah, blah. Like, yeah, my husband, blah. boom, dead end. Okay. I, unless you want to go and try to start an affair, that would be a dead end. I had that happen a couple times. I was out with this like smoking hot Russian girl and she's like, yeah, my husband, this and that, and our kids and blah, blah, blah. Okay, dead end. And that was actually a situation people saw us coming back from that lunch and they're like, oh, are you fucking that girl? No, man, like, <laughs> just, we're just friends, blah, 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 right? But that's, that's basically it, okay? And, and then you can invite them outside of work and, and amp it up a little bit more and try to get into some kind of situation. And, and if things, like say the date goes well and, and you end up hooking up, you can say to her like, listen, I'd like to pursue this, but I don't want to have it, you know, be a, a talk. Uh, I don't want our, us, us being a thing or us hooking up being a thing around the office. So let's keep it strictly confidential for my sake and yours. And if things ever go sour, no hard feelings on either side. Okay, so that's pretty much how you do that. If you want to learn my entire system, 
including how to pick up girls at bars and clubs, streets and malls, on the online apps. If you want to learn exactly how I text, I give you every single text message path, in case you, all your texting is handled, all your online game messaging is handled, the exact structure to run your dates so that most of the girls come home, usually 80 to 90%, the exact structure to close your girls that come home to your house, usually 80 to 90%, and the exact framing and, and different techniques to keep most of them around, usually 80 to 90%, okay, of the ones that you wanna keep around. Don't hesitate, jump on that free 30 minute call. And if you're not yet a subscriber, make sure to smash the subscribe button, like, comment, and share, press the notification bell to be alerted of the new videos every single day, daily videos every day around 2 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go bang the hotties at your workplace, and I will see you on the next video. Take care. Some do it for the income, but we do it for the outcome. Some of us are active while others just let their mouth run. No doubt, son, this is not just about fun. We will not be outdone by these cowards who shout scum.